I thank you. How can I be of service? Just Angels and dresses. I'm just take a look and see if I like it. It's very affordable, it's just 25,000. It's too shallow. Uh, well, if you want something less, you know, I'll probably check this out. Shoes. Okay, okay, so we have shoes over here. Yes, I see. Yes. Um, well, it uh, depends on what you are actually looking for. Mm -hmm. So, but, but um, if you like bright colors, like you can do. Oh, no, sorry. You said you don't want anything shouty, so maybe you can do this. Something like this. I think I like this. It's so yeah, cool. what's your size, man? Let's, let's see. Um, for the one? Uh, no, uh, no, no, that's no. not my size. No, not you don't have a bigger size of it? Um, not at the moment. No, okay, I'm going to try something else. Okay. Oh. Maybe you can find something to to, to match your, your shoe. Like this. Got a nine try over here. Yes. Ah, uh, you know what? Mm. Maybe I just come try to drive some other time. Okay, uh, no problem. Thanks. That's fine. So, uh, are you sure I can't interest you in you know our bag collection? We have wonderful handbags. Hey, this is an MK that just came out. It's lovely. Feel the texture. Feel the texture. Wow. It's nice. Yes. Ah, oh, um, okay, oh, do you have a black? The black of this? Uh, no, not right now. But but I could get a black one I for you. I think I'll love the black. Okay, but then I have this color. Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you have any um Gucci bag or something? Yes. Um, but we have a black color. Okay. You have it in the store here? Uh, no, not in the store. Okay, no, I just... Um, Taking so Alright. This, um, just... Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Please do. Please do come back again, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye. All right. Bye. I've always wanted a closet like this. Or something close to this. Okay, I'll make do with just a few of these clothes. But they're so hard to afford. It's like... One turkey dress. One is 10,000 Naira. 10,000 Naira, that's like... No, no, I can't even tell you how much I make. It's pathetic. But I can't afford it, just know it. 10,000 Naira is no beans, so I know some of you are sitting there looking at me like it's just 10,000 Naira. It's no beans. I'm bored out of my mind. Some days are just like this. No customers. Or maybe just one customer, which is a good thing, you know? You know, there are days when some women come in here and pick 10 dresses, just like that, in the blink of an eye. Five minutes, 10 dresses, 100,000. Hey, Jesus. 
<sighs> See this dress? See this red dress? Might not look like much on a hanger, but this, this is my dream dress. And this simple looking, beautiful, hot goddess dress is 30,000 naira. 30 grand for this dress. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Good morning, Mrs. Rookie. Hey, look at this one. I even forgot I have a boyfriend, Seth. I called him every day the whole of last week. He didn't pick my calls. He didn't even return it. Now all of a sudden, he just shows up on, on, on my doorstep. This hot, sunny Saturday morning. I am very sorry, okay? But don't bore holes in my head with your eyes, please. I called you, Andrew. I saw the 43 missed calls. I'm sorry, I couldn't pick up. What do you want? I want you, baby. Look, I'm not a child, Andrew. I know you deserve some explanation. My mom was sick. I needed to take care of her, and that put me off. Well, you could have said something. I didn't want to bother you. I miss you. Look, Andrew, I miss you. Andrew, I, I don't, I'm not in the mood for this what right do you now. Mean I'm, you're not in the mood. I'm doing my laundry. Listen, Andrew, Charlie, listen. Oh, wait, so because you're. Who's calling me? Oh, yeah. Hold that. Andrew. Who is calling me? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Make my husband! Jesus. Andrew, I know you're in here! Husband. Oh, Andrew didn't tell you that he's married, right? What? To think I solved this same issue last week here. And now, you? Andrew! 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 
Are you okay? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just worried that you're not. What's going on? This is very unlike you. You've been moody like this for the last three days and I have such a high regard for this lady. She's such a wonderful human being. Always trying to help other people with their problems. So it, it really hurts me to see her like this. I wish I could do something to help. What's going on? I'm fine. Fine. Please. Please turn turn your open sign. What's happening? It's my husband. Oh dear Lord, is he dead? Oh no. I wish you were dumb. Huh? He's cheating on me. What? How? I are you sure? Hold up a second. Wait. Am I the only one that just heard what this woman said just now? Her husband is cheating on her. On which planet? She looks like she stepped off the covers of a fashion magazine. How can a man have a woman who looks like this and he will still cheat? What? <sighs> no, you don't get it. I literally put her on a pedestal. I want to be exactly like she is. She is the epitome of beauty, of grace and poise. The way she carries herself, the way she walks. I talk, and not to mention the fact she's, she's so sweet. I try so hard to live up to, to, to look like the way she does. Killing myself in the gym every day just to get her long neck. Look, and she does it with such grace. Haba. Are you sure? Yes. With his secretary. He's been coming back home late. Claiming that he's working late. Even on Sundays. 
Sunday. <laughs> you don't understand, baby. Marriages are meant to be forever. Am I gonna keep doing this to myself forever? I can't do this forever, Vicky. Maybe it's because I'm getting fat. Huh? Yes. And even ugly. Maybe it's because I I can't give him children. He's so sorry. I don't know, Vicky. I mean he's always been promiscuous. Can't blame him though. I mean he's good looking. I thought that was going to change when we get married. All those promises he made. <laughs> Everything he said he was going to. <laughs> I want to find that man and shake him senseless. <sighs> please, please don't cry, please. I am so sorry. Please don't cry. Okay. Everything will be fine, please. Oh, I'm fine. I'm okay. What are you going to do? Maybe you should take a trip somewhere, you know? Find some peace and quiet and just, I don't know, clear your head. I don't mind, I can, I can watch the shop in your absence. I want a divorce. Okay, wait, you can't just divorce someone solely on grounds of suspicion. I may not have proof, but I know what my instincts tell me. Never ever doubt a woman's instincts, Vicky. Okay, but you are going to need more than instinct in court. I'm going to divorce him on grounds of infidelity. I mean, thank God we had a court wedding. It's probably the smartest decision I've ever made. I can see she's really pained, but divorce? She's a strong woman. I thought that she would stay and fight for her marriage, but then again, no one deserves to be treated like this. I need to leave this marriage now. I would have gotten a private detective, but that's going to take too long. I need to leave a S A P. I don't deserve to be treated this way. Unless I have, unless I have proof. Okay. Perfect. 
Perfect. Um, perfect. Yeah. What is? Just perfect. You are my husband. Perfect spec. You are slim. You're tall. You're fit. You're. I have a proposition for you. This may sound really crazy, but um, I want you to sleep with my husband. What? Yes. He can't hurt me like this. I mean. I will not sit around and cry all day. That is so not me. I'm going to hit him and hit him hard where it hurts. His money. I'm going to take half of his money. I, I mean, we signed a prenup that actually guarantees me half of his money. So. He thinks he's smart. He does not even know what smart is. Our friend of God gives me half of his money. Yes. Listen. I need you, I need you to do this for me, Vicky. Please, I, listen. Do this for me and all the women in the world who are in loveless, abusive, insatiable relationships. Do this for us. Help <laughs> us. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll pay you 500,000 naira. Uh, yeah.
maltreat her Don't maltreat her Oh, she can be sweet as can be But she can also sting like a bee Mind, okay, I'll just here sit and I watch you do your thing. And it kind of reminds me of a sex yellow berry in the beach scene die on the day. I do, huh? Yeah. Well, oh, thank you. She can take. So beware the decisions that you make about her. Cause when her back's against the wall, oh. She doesn't want to fall She will do anything and everything To stand tall There's a woman for you Hell has no fury It's kind of hard to you know, I just recently realized the power that women have and the real, very power. <laughs> I know what you do and I want you to do the same for me. Don't play dumb with me. Listen to me. I'll call you tomorrow to tell you what to do. I know Rookie says not to worry, but I can't help it. I mean, she's checked all her contacts, her friends, and no one knows who this mystery woman is. My biggest fear right now is getting exposed because there's been a lot of divorces lately and most of them have my fingerprints all over them. Joanne. What do you want? Your services. I'm listening. For two million naira. Why? Why what? Why two million? Is he ugly? No. Bald and fat? No, no. Then why? Because he won't cheat on me. There must be something special about you if it does. So, you deserve the amounts if you get results. Well, let me assure you, I always get results. The money is not a problem. Don't get spooky. 
I know it's far more than the mere 600k you get per job. How did you get my number? Because my contact does not know you. Vicky, concentrate on the job. How do we meet? No, we won't meet. I do not work like that. <laughs> you say you don't work like that. Vicky, I have you where I want you. You make no mistake. If you do, I will expose you. If you fail, I will expose you. So you are going to do this job and you will do it right. Joan, or whatever you call yourself, this is sounding more like blackmail to me. Yeah, get results for the betterment of the border cross. <laughs> okay, fine. Send me his pictures, his timeline, his routine, his contacts, his phone number, his email addresses, everything about him. I'll send it in an hour time. What just happened? <laughs> this girl knows more about me than no, what is going on? Chess and I'm kind of bored, so why don't we do this? Why don't we finish this game and whoever wins gets to buy the other person a drink or another drink? Deal? Deal. Great. So, your move, sir. That is your move, then I think that I will. I will take this to you. What? Wow. <laughs> wow. That was rather spectacular. Uh, I don't know about spectacular, though, but that was kind of close. <laughs> But then again, I did say that my name was Victoria, right? Mm, I remember that. <laughs> All right, Victoria, it was nice playing a game of chess with you. I would rather return now to my personal play. No talking because I like to think while I play. 
I don't mean to be rude, but hey. Is this man for real? So after I don't bust my head on top of this matter, this guy is going to sit here and ignore me. No, 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 no. That, that can't happen. No. That is not good for business. Especially with that his wife, Joan, or whatever her name is, on my case. Nah, plan B. Time to pull out the big guns. Your wife paid me to sleep with you. What? Yeah, exactly what you heard. Your wife, John. That's her name, by the way, John. She paid me to have sexual relations with you. Why? How much? Upfront cut, two million. Are you serious? You wake up at six o'clock in the morning on the door. You get to your office at six fifteen, six seventeen at the latest. You stay in your office till one o'clock when you come here to have lunch and a quiet game of chess. You are here till two o'clock when you go home. You spend time with your wife. I don't know what you people do. Um, then five o'clock you get into your study because you like to research or read your newspaper or whatever it is that you do. You drive your Acura ZDX every day of the week from Monday to Friday. Well, except weekends. That's the Mercedes. Yeah. Um, well, that's on, except on Sundays because on Sundays you like to stay home. That's okay. Why are you telling me this? Your wife is blackmailing you and she's trying to screw you over for God knows whatever reason. Look, I've studied you and I'm sitting here talking to you. You seem like a fantastic guy, so I don't know whatever you did to deserve this. Okay, but we have to figure out a way to pay her back. Help me out here. Joan pays you to sleep with me. But you obviously don't want to sleep with me. No, I would rather not. Why is that? I don't know. Look, that's not the point. Look, the point is not about me sleeping with you now. The point is us paying her back. Wait a minute. My wife is blackmailing you and at the same time, he's screwing me over. Exactly. I knew it. I always suspected. You see, before we got married, a little bird told me that she had this lover boy she was with, but he was a broke ass. Oh. So it's, it's not difficult putting two and two together. Oh, wow. Jane. Jane married me for my money. Never really got to trust women anyway. I'm sorry. Now, Victoria, here's the deal. I'm going to give you exactly what Jane wanted from me. My money. I'll pay you double what she promised you. Send me your account details and it's a done deal. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Nice uh, doing business with you. I will send that text immediately. I, I wish you all the best. Good luck. Hello. Hi, Paul. Yes, yes, I just got the alert right now. Thank you very much. And again, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, bye now. <laughs> and I do not have to sleep with him. Thank you. 
Hello? Oh, Vicky, has she called you yet? Uh, yes, she has. And I've settled it. Okay. Well, I guess that should do then. Uh, yeah, I did the job, but not the way she asked. I can't escort. Vicky! Vicky, calm down. Everything is fine, okay? Look, I'm on my way to prospect a client right now. I'll go call you later, give you gist, okay? Okay. Alright, darling. Later. She trashed my house. What? She was in my house. She... Who? Find her. Find her, Rookie, because if I find her, I swear to God I will kill her. Trust you got my gifts. You can't trust me, right? I am not done with you. You better watch your back. Watch it. Feel. Take you to the hospital. No, 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 no hospital space, no hospital. Look, it just probably just looks worse than it is. The, the, the swelling will go down tomorrow. Okay, fine. Tomorrow. Listen, I, I called to tell you that we found out who she was. It's actually a friend of a friend. Don't worry about it. We already took care of her. What do you mean by you took care of her? Like, I hope you beat that stupid idiot's face in. <laughs> no, Vicky. You took such a great risk trying to count across her like that. Yeah, I was angry. So? At least you could have spoken to me first. Well, I didn't have a plan, okay? It just came to me on the spot of... Oh, God. It came Sorry. to me on the spot of... You know what I mean? Sorry, no. It's actually my fault. I... I caused this. Forgive me. Oh God, please don't be so melodramatic, okay? Look, every job has its risks. I, I knew that going in. Well, Make some good money though. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! Come on, give me my love, my man. Don't please take you to the hospital, please. Uh, no, I don't want to go to the hospital. Don't give me the chance. <laughs> I hate those to be just put my beautiful face. No, it's not. It will heal. It's not spoiled. 
This almost cost me my life. Miss. The scope. An easy way to make money and I almost lost my life over it. Victoria, it's time to make some changes. Okay, Vicky, please, out with it. You're making me nervous. Rookie. I want out. Right. I guess it's about time. Yes, it is. Look, I admit we've made some good money. But no amount of money is worth my life. Listen, I I apologize. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, Ricky, don't. This is not your fault. Okay, this is just this is just life, and life is messy. Look, we're all given a choice, a freedom to to pick whatever battles we have to fight, and this is the one I chose. You made me an offer that I could have easily refused, but I did not because, you know, I was greedy, it was an easy way out. <laughs> And then with Joan, it was just, that was just, you know, to get some cheap thrill out of finding revenge and all for what? All of that stuff just ended up in nothing. Well, not absolutely nothing because, you know, I got all of this out of it. But And I'm grateful, but it's time to just end it. I'm out. So I might as well end it. Okay. I, Rookie, relieve you, Vicky, of your social liberation rights. Huh. Here's to a new beginning. Yeah. <laughs> new beginning. So, what are you going to do with yourself now? I don't know. Just make the most out of life. Have the most fun. 
Okay. And what about the big M? Marriage. Do you want to try again? Oh, um. About that. The truth? Yes. I mean, there's... There's absolutely nothing like having a man that you can exclusively call yours. A husband. I mean, I know men can be jerks most of the time. Most. Keyword most. <laughs> exactly. Of the yeah. time. But they also serve their positive purposes. So yes. Yes. If I... If I do find love again, I'll definitely try. Hopefully I've learned my lesson and um, maybe I could get it right this time and then um, and have love forever. Yeah. And if you're lucky to find someone who stays true and faithful to you, then you might just have that forever. Oh yeah, speak the chest of forever. <laughs> This has been a good run. Yes, it has. <laughs> Except that I got my face beaten. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part though. Fast sound you. <laughs> You're just a wicked girl. And me? I just want to breathe. You know, this is the first time in a long time that I am taking the liberty to just acknowledge how beautiful life is. And yeah, okay. I know that when the right man finds me, I'm definitely not letting someone like who I was get between us. That's for sure. <laughs> Patience. a woman and she's got her pride no oh, yeah better not take her take her for a ride no no she's got a dangerous side on the inside if she brings it out, brings it out, you'll run and hide. Oh, so beware how you treat her. Don't maltreat her. Oh, she can be sweet as can be, but she can also sting like a bee.